we're just kind of standing here trying to pull together. I just remember she was really bubbly. Flowers placed outside of Cole Hall where the shooting happened seem to grow out of the snow, adding even more color than the bright crime scene tape. Even as they duck under those markers, students at Northern Illinois University refuse to let go of one another. 24 hours after five students were killed and another 16 injured, the campus is grieving together. These children are so wonderful and I'm very proud of them. And I just pray for their families. These students brought a picture of their friend Juliana Gahant to Northern's flagpole, a fitting tribute for the military veteran. Every time you were around her, it was just, it made you feel better. And this kind of loss can't even be calculated. You can't, you can't, you can't put a, a value on that. It's, it's the kind of hole that's never going to be filled. While some remembered their friends, others can't get the horror of what happened out of their minds. On the staircase, I seen this boy, he was sitting on the staircase because he had got shot in the back of his head. And then when I looked to my left, I saw this other boy, he got shot in his hand, he got shot in his foot. Lynn Farley was supposed to be in that classroom, but overslept. It feels dead. It feels very quiet and most of us feel sad. No one's in the dorms. Most of the students have gone home for the weekend. We expect a decision to be made soon about when classes will resume. Until then, there will be numerous vigils as these students remember their lost friends. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, DeKalb, Illinois.